Ocean Gate's Titan submarine started its journey from St. John's Port in Canada. The location where it was to dive inside the ocean is 700 kilometers away from St. John in the North Atlantic Ocean, and at this point, the Titanic's shipwreck is also present in the ocean's depths under cold water. This journey was started on Saturday, June 17, 2023, and according to the plan, Titan was to be launched into the water the next day on Sunday, 8 o'clock in the morning. Let us tell you here that before the dive, an issue was noticed in Titan, but despite that, it was launched into the ocean by putting their lives at stake. What was that issue, and why was this risk taken despite knowing it? Let us know in this video. Five people including Action Aviation founder Harnish Harding, were present in this journey. He had also traveled in space with Jeff Bezos. At number two was Stockton Rush, also the CEO of Ocean Gate. This American company provides submarines for ocean tourism. At number three was 77-year-old Paul Henry, who had also visited Titanic earlier. He was an expert on wrecks and had a lot of knowledge about the scattered parts of the Titanic. Finally, Pakistani business tycoon Shahzada Dawood was a part of this submarine with his son, Suleiman. Before driving on June 17th, Harnish Harding had made his last post online. He said his drive was delayed due to the extremely cold weather. We will dive tomorrow morning when the weather is better for a while. These five people were going to see the wreck of the famous Titanic to fulfill their hobby. After sinking in 1912, efforts to search for it continued for several years. However, this task was not so easy due to the harsh conditions of the Atlantic Ocean. Then, in 1985, the wreck of the RMS Titanic was finally found on the ocean floor. Titanic had left behind so many questions that now the time had come to find answers to them. Dozens of expeditions were arranged, and experts and researchers from different countries visited the Titanic. Canadian filmmaker James Cameron made dozens of visits to the Titanic wreck in 1995, and the movie was released in 1997. The success of the Titanic movie completed the remaining task. It created such a stir that now it has become the dream of millions of people to go and see the Titanic wreck themselves. This work is no longer limited to research purposes. Tourists also started visiting the shipwreck site. It is said that going to the ocean's depth is more difficult than going into space. The biggest reason for this is the water pressure. The Titanic shipwreck is 4,000 meters, i.e. 4 kilometers below the ocean's surface. If you want to imagine this depth, look at Burj Khalifa and understand that the wreckage of Titanic is about five times the height of Burj Khalifa in the sea. The water pressure at this depth is 5,800 psi. This pressure will be the same pressure that an entire elephant can stand on just one square inch of a human body, not on his entire body. So now you can imagine how many square inches a submarine will have and how much pressure it will have. The submarine journey started at noon on Sunday, June 18th, 2023. Normally, it takes two hours to reach the Titanic, but after one hour and 45 minutes, the mothership, Polar Prince, which was waiting on it, lost contact with the submarine. If it had taken two hours to reach Titanic, it would have happened just 15 minutes earlier. Losing contact means that the submarine would have reached very close to Titanic. Sunlight can't reach this ocean's depth, which is always extremely dark. It is normal for wireless signals to break at this depth. Therefore, this matter was not taken seriously at first. This entire trip was seven hours. They had to return from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. But when there was no contact with Titan until 7 p.m. and it did not return, the crew in the mothership standing above started sweating. The Canadian research vessel Polar Prince started looking for Titan. At 9.40, they contacted the U.S. Coast Guard and asked for help. The next day, U.S. and Canadian ships and planes started a proper search operation in the entire area on Monday. They continued their search not only on the surface of the ocean, but also underwater with the help of sonar scanning. The commercial vessels in the area were also ordered to keep their eyes open. The search continued for the next two days, but no trace of Titan existed. But then, a ray of hope appeared. 
On Wednesday, June 21st, at 6 a.m., the search team heard some sounds from the depths of the water. These sounds were heard with the help of underwater radar. Immediately, the remotely operated vehicle was sent toward the sound. But this time, too, there was no news of Titan. Now, the fear of losing Titan forever was increasing because the amount of oxygen in the submarine was only enough for 96 hours or four days, and by this time, three out of four days had passed. However, the US, Canada, and France search teams did not lose courage. On Thursday, June 22nd at noon, the ROV was sent to the wreck of Titanic. What was seen after reaching there was truly a heart-wrenching scene. At 3.48 p.m., the ROV, which had reached the Titanic wreckage, saw a part of Titan's tail lying just 1,600 feet away from the Titanic. The wreckage of the Titanic, which had gone to see it, has now become a headline worldwide. This means only one thing. The submarine could not withstand the water pressure and burst into the ocean's depths. This news created a stir all over the world. Many questions started being raised on the safety of Ocean Gate. OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush, who himself lost his life in this incident, said in 2021 that he knew that he had broken some rules while making Titan because he had made Titan not from steel, but from aviation-grade carbon fiber. But he wanted to make some innovations in this industry. That's why carbon fiber was used to replace steel. Before its first launch, Titan was also tested at a pressure of 5,000 to 10,000 PSI, which it passed. However, experts believe that thousands of types of forces act on the submarine inside the ocean, including pressure and the flow of water, which is caused by waves. Apart from this, due to darkness, it is also possible that a heavy stone or a sea creature may have hit the submarine. Whatever it may be, one reason for the destruction of Titan was its carbon fiber hull, but the other reason was the cracks already present in it. Yes. Titan Submarine also took a businessman named Carl Stanley in 2019, and at that time, it was also operated by the CEO of Ocean Gate. Cal said that during that journey when he was going down, he heard the sound of cracking from the body of Titan. One point, I was actually even able to drive the submarine towards deeper water by the sound of the cracking getting louder. At that time, he did not pay much attention to this sound, because he had full faith in the CEO of Ocean Gate, who had designed this submarine. But after this accident, he told CNN that perhaps that sound was a warning that the body of Titan could not withstand water pressure. If this is true, then there is no doubt that cracks had already started appearing in the body of Titan. In 2018, an executive of Ocean Gate raised his voice against the carbon fiber body of Titan. He said that this issue would be known only a few milliseconds before the submarine exploded, and in reality, the same thing happened. At the depth at which Titan has exploded, experts say it would have taken only 0.3 seconds to explode. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like. Subscribe to our channel to watch such knowledgeable videos. If you have not seen our Las Vegas Sphere video, click on the above video to discover more about the world's largest spherical screen. Thank you.